Let there be light. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna... Wow, that's actually like perfect almost. Yeah. It's like the first time I actually got the camera in the perfect spot. Look at me. Look at Sam Downey. It's getting better at filming, guys. Give me a pat on the back. <laughs> okay, so today's gonna be an interesting topic as I forget my phone. So we're gonna grab that for the notes. Hair is just flying all over the place, but you guys know me. Just gotta, it just, it just kind of, it just kind of falls, you know? Okay, um, yeah. Test, got nothing in the teeth. Nah, nah. Yeah, I did, I did the eye makeup today, guys. Uh, that's looking pretty good, looking pretty chill, you know? Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. I like a, I like a thick black eyeliner, you know what I'm saying? Looks, uh, makes me look all grungy, you know? Like a little punk girl. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we're ready to go. We're gonna we're gonna stop fooling around here, and we're gonna we're gonna film a video. We're gonna film it. Are you guys ready for some Sam Downey time? Woo woo woo! Yeah yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam Downey here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already, at samdowney44. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. That's youtube.com slash samdowney. I'm posting videos here all the time about like trans stuff, non-binary stuff, you know, so if you need some, uh, you need a little boost, you know, a little, little trans boost, you know, feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications, join the awesome Sam Downey clan, probably the coolest clan on the internet, just saying, so, you know, you're gonna want to get in on that, so. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, do all that kind of stuff, and follow me on Instagram. Yeah, do it all. Yeah, yeah, all right. Awesome, all right, so we got that over with. All right. <laughs> Today's gonna be a fun video. Actually, not really a fun video. I guess more like a serious video. A lot of you guys have been asking uh, these, like this question basically to me, you know, do I get perceived or like treated differently since transitioning? Um, so I just wanna say this up front first, like I am a non-binary trans person, um, you know, I'm not not like a fully binary trans woman or that, but I am on testosterone blockers and estrogen at the same kind of dose as a trans woman would be on. So basically, technically, I am a trans woman. Like, I don't really use that term a lot, but like, you know, if someone does call me a trans woman or like a trans girl, like I don't sit there and I'm like, actually, I'm non-binary trans girl. Like, no, I just kind of go with it. So I know that I am a trans girl and I do use that term sometimes. I just have like, you know, different characteristics to me that kind of make me more on the non-binary side of being a trans woman and not the binary side, right? But with that being said, you know, ever since I started mentally transitioning, I've kind of started to realize the differences on how women are treated in society compared to how men are treated in society. And I just wanted to go over a couple of things that I found interesting just uh, since transitioning, like what has happened. So the first one is... Uh, Kind of sucks to say, but like walking home at night can be a little bit scary. Like I have been like cat called a couple of times and it was really like an uncomfortable feeling. Like honestly, like if you're one of those people who thinks cat calling is cool, like it's not. It's not. It's it's just really weird. Um, yeah, so I haven't felt a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. And then sometimes also just at night, like I feel a little bit more like nervous and scared just because I am like, you know, a lot weaker and, you know, a lot more like femmy looking, I guess. So, you know, obviously could be kind of dangerous at times with uh some people that are out there that are uh that are a little creepy, if you know what I mean. Also another thing, just because I've had a couple of uh I've actually had a handful of uh kind of weird experiences in the men's bathroom recently. I started to use uh, only the women's bathroom uh, for my own safety. Like, honestly, I used to be fine with just using the men's washroom. It wasn't really deal, but just like, yeah, I have had a couple of times where like, you know, men have looked at me a little bit differently and, you know, some men actually will look at me now as a woman um, and think I'm a fully like like a like a, a cis woman almost sometimes, uh, especially if I don't talk. I find my voice is what really gives me away. But if you haven't heard me talk yet, you're gonna look at me and be like, oh wow, that's the, yeah, it's a woman. It looks like a woman. So yeah, just for my own safety, I do use the women's washroom now um, because you know some men are pretty creepy some men that's the main point some men are pretty creepy not all men i'm not saying like all men suck like i know there's this big thing where like oh yeah men suck like no there are like a, gr a bunch of great men out there like um but there are some men that are pretty weird. I've had a couple of experiences recently, um, you know, just in public or at work where like men will try to like hit on you while you're doing something. And I find that really weird. Like, you know, uh, I've helped out a couple of guys at the store and you know, it starts off as like just being kind of a fun thing where I think I'm helping someone like, you know, 
with their egg cracking or something like that like maybe they're gonna come out as trans and they wanted to get some like panties or something like that and then they just turn into like creepy and they're like oh yeah like these make me so horny and i'm like um nah man like he just made it weird you know what i'm saying so there has been a couple of like uh weird experiences i've had where like men have tried to like almost like forcefully hit on me and you know i actually do feel a lot of sympathy for like cis women as well like men like how do you deal with that like it sucks like it's weird it's really weird and it makes you really uncomfortable so you know if you ever thought like if you're like a cis dude and you think that like you know hitting on women while they're working or doing something that's not like you know at the bar or something like that it's uh yeah it's weird it's really weird i gotta admit <laughs> um don't do that <laughs> don't do that please <laughs> another thing that is uh also kind of different is uh if i'm in like male only spaces now so let's say i'm hanging out with like a bunch of guys or whatever um i will be treated a lot differently and i guess like the conversations are a little bit more censored like you know for example like when i was uh when i was in the closet it would be like really weird sometimes like uh you know talking in like a men's group because some men like i don't know why like some men like they they talk about women like they're like almost objects and it's it's it was really uncomfortable for me like i was like why would you even talk about a person like that but you know even for example like there's this big thing in the male community and like just in like society in general where it's like you know if you're a guy and you get with a bunch of girls like it's seen as like oh you're a you're a badass oh you're a player that's so awesome and then it's like if you're a girl and you've been with a bunch of guys like you're gross and disgusting when it's like i really don't understand how you know basically being sexually active makes you gross like that's that's I, I don't understand that concept and like you know it's, it's just so strange to me that like you know some men like they literally will like look at women differently if they they've heard they've been with multiple men it's like dude like people shower like what 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 the hell are you saying like it's like that's not gross like it's like after after sex everybody showers usually like it's like you know it's like there's no dna of another guy like it's like what the fuck like and it's really, uh, it's really strange to me. And, but yeah, now I find, like, I don't really get in on those conversations just because probably men are, like, they're looking at me as, like, oh, well, you're a trans woman. I don't want to, like, say those kind of things because you're a woman. It is pretty interesting how, like, you know, the conversations get a lot more censored when you come out as a trans woman or non-binary. I always really found it kind of interesting that I, I am treated differently, but... At the same time, you know, obviously one of the, well, the main lesson learned to this is if you're a cis guy, don't be objectifying women. That's weird. Like, honestly, it's weird and it's not cool and it really makes everyone uncomfortable. So, you know, like let's, let's treat people like people like, yeah, let, let's do that. Um, but, uh, really besides that, um, you know, it is a lot different. Like that's really in conclusion. It is a lot different. Um, how the world treats women compared to they treat men I feel like with men, it's like, you know, you can kind of like you don't have to like really watch your back and you're not really told like oh yeah you need to protect yourself and that kind of stuff when like nowadays like actually like you know that's i am told that a lot by people like you know make sure that you know you're not walking around at night make sure you're not walking around in like dangerous places or being around like you know high masculine men spaces that kind of stuff and you know it is just kind of interesting just like the differences and stuff but yeah i just wanted to make a video just of like a couple of differences that i really realized since coming out as trans and started medically transitioning um if you have any other experiences like uh like this as well feel free to leave them in the comments you know i'd love to read them and check out if anyone else has had experiences like this as well but uh, yeah really besides that make sure to follow me on instagram if you guys haven't already at sam downey 44 also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel right here youtube.com slash sam downey i'm posting videos here all the time about non-binary stuff trans stuff stuff in general sam downey clan stuff so yeah if you're interested in any of that make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications you know what i'm saying ring that bell and yeah that's really about it for this week guys and uh catch you guys next time Peace.